Hi guys, what's up? It's Lindsay and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today, as you can see by the title, I am going to be sharing what I eat today because I just bought a ton of groceries. I have some new recipes I want to try out and I also have been meaning to make kind of like an IBS friendly low FODMAP themed what I eat in a day for a while because I've shared before that I have IBS and a lot of you have told me that you do too and have appreciated me speaking up about it and sharing my tips. So that is what I'm going to be doing today. I also wanted to say thank you to the sponsor of this video, which is Hilma. If you haven't heard of Hilma before, it is a female founded company creating natural remedies that you can use in the place of over the counter medication. It is not a vitamin, it is not a supplement, it is something that you can take in the moment for discomfort or aches. All of their products are doctor developed and backed by clinical research, so you can trust that they're going to work. My personal favorite is their gas and bloat relief, which you can use in the moment whenever you're experiencing bloating. It happens to the best of us, and this stuff seriously seriously works. Like I've tried this after eating gluten and being bloated and it provided a ton of relief and it's all natural ingredients like chamomile and peppermint leaf that are clinically proven to soothe your stomach very quickly and effectively. Some other great digestive products from them are their upset stomach relief, which is a natural alternative for heartburn or indigestion, anything like that you can take this for. And lastly, their stomach reset, which is actually a drink mix that has electrolytes, prebiotics, and other powerful herbs that will help you if you have had, you know, maybe a stomach bug or you've been traveling. Even if you just have a hangover, um, this will restore your gut's balance and make you feel a lot better. As someone that experiences stomach discomfort and bloating from time to time, I highly recommend these products. It's just really nice to have them on hand. So if you're interested in trying out Hilma, I will put my discount code on the screen. Head to the link in the description and be sure to use my code for 20% off your order. For breakfast, I am gonna make two scrambled eggs. I really love Vital Farms eggs. They're the only ones I buy unless they're from the farmer's market. You can tell that they're good eggs because they're really dark and rich in color and I'm just gonna cook this in some avocado oil. And then to go with that, I have some short grain brown rice. I like to make this at the beginning of the week and just use it for breakfast or stir fries. It's just like my favorite brown rice. It's so good. The texture, it has like some bite to it. And I also am gonna make a little tiny arugula salad on the side with some lemon juice and olive oil because I accidentally bought a pound of arugula because I was ordering groceries and just going too fast. So I'm gonna be eating a lot of salad this week. This bowl is super versatile. You can add guacamole, salsa, you can add some beans to make it more of like a Mexican breakfast. That's one of my favorite ways to eat it, but I am gonna top it with avocado and Cholula. I just finished eating, so I am now gonna make a latte before I start my work day. This is my everyday routine. I can't have caffeine on an empty stomach and I love breakfast as well. So I cook first and then I make my latte and I love chai lattes because they taste good, but also because they have a lot less caffeine than normal coffee. And I really can't drink caffeine. It, it makes my stomach hurt and it gives me anxiety. It's just a terrible combination, but I do love it. So I do drink it sometimes, but at home, I am always drinking an oat milk chai latte. I am just gonna do some email work now, and usually I sit at my desk like an adult, but today I'm sitting on the floor because Sammy isn't feeling great. Um, she got two vaccines yesterday for, you know, like rabies or canine flu, and she just has not been feeling well since. And um, I've been in contact with the vet. She's just small, and so her little immune system is fighting but um, they told me just to stay close to her and keep an eye on her. She's not having an allergic reaction or anything. She's just like super tired and pretty out of it, um, but she's eating and she's, you know, just a sleepier version of herself. So I thought I would sit on the ground to do my work just to be close to her. <laughs> 
I can't even imagine what it feels like to have your own kid and to have them be sick because even just her not feeling well was like so stressful for me and it was like just getting some shots um, and I know she's fine but I think she's feeling a little bit better we are shredding um, her new toy that she just got this weekend from my parents it is now lunchtime. I just cracked open a kombucha. This is the Island Mango from Brew Doctor. One of my all time favorites right now. And I just am a huge fan of kombucha in general. It is so good for gut health. And I also just really enjoy it as like a drink when I'm with my friends since I don't drink. So I'm gonna pour probably about half of this. Now what we are going to be making for lunch today is a recipe that I saw on TikTok. It went around a while ago, but I've been wanting to try it because it is making dumplings with rice paper wrappers, which are naturally gluten-free. They're made of rice paper. And so you're basically making a dumpling filling and wrapping them with two layers of this and then pan frying them. And I'm so excited. They look so tasty. For my dumpling filling, I am using carrots, cabbage, shiitake mushrooms, green onion, and some tofu. You could also add like little glass noodles, really whatever you like. And I'm also gonna use a food processor to chop it up because I do not feel like mincing carrots and cabbage right now. So that is what I'm gonna be doing. Cabbage also happens to be one of the many vegetables that I have a hard time digesting. My tip is always just to cut it very finely and also to cook it or steam it, roast it um, until it's fully cooked. Now that we have the base chopped up, I am adding coconut aminos and tamari for some salt and flavor. Then I am adding this Penzi's garlic powder, which I use because I have a hard time eating raw garlic. I also have some ginger paste. I keep mine frozen, so I just microwaved it, but I'm gonna add that in and now give it a good mix. That looks pretty good. If you ask me, that looks pretty decent. Everyone else's looked brown and mine did not really turn brown, but I only had one of them explode, so that's not too bad. And they look pretty good, so let's see. I made a little chili dipping sauce just with some chili onion crunch and tamari. I'm rather impressed with myself. This is delicious. I, I wonder if I could crisp them more though. It has been many hours from lunch. I have been working. I just did my towels and all of my laundry. And I also had a bit of an anxiety attack. So took the makeup off, took a shower. I'm back in my cozy sweater. But for dinner tonight, I think I'm going to make something very simple. Just one of my comfort recipes, and that is pesto pasta with some cherry tomatoes. But I don't have any pesto, so I thought I would use my arugula to make some. And I just looked up a recipe online. It seems pretty simple. I'm just gonna throw all of the ingredients into my blender and I will link it in the description box if you want to try it. It is just arugula with nutritional yeast, cashews, maybe some vegan Parmesan cheese, olive oil, all good things, so it can't be bad. That is all I have for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please give it a thumbs up if you did, subscribe if you haven't, and don't forget to check out Hilma. If you're interested, I have 20% off for you guys, and I will see you all with some new content very soon. Bye guys.